I, I really love these speakers. The, the, the idea behind them is, is brilliant. The, you don't have a cabinet, so this eliminates the cabinet resonance. It also, since they're randomized, in other words, the sound coming out of these speakers is not a point source. It's kind of random. I thought of this idea probably 10 years ago. The problem was I never could figure out how to make it work. But these people have figured it out. This, by the way, eliminates the feedback pretty much completely. You can stand in front of the speaker, you know, a foot away, and the mic will not feed back. The other fact is it's almost a flat panel. So what happens is you could take this on, on as front of, front of house goes. We could sandwich these things together and pull up 10, 20, 30 of them all at one time. To me, this would eliminate one or two semi trucks off the road which is going to, that's a big problem today, trying to move semis, people, a lot of heavy gear, you need, uh, you know, high lows to get these big speakers off, you got to put them up one at a time, bring them up with a chain fall. I mean, the, the whole idea behind this is, is brilliant. They're bright enough to work in a live situation because of the inverse square law. Uh, they're, they're not heavy. Um, so there's a lot of advantages to this. How they ever figured it out, I don't know, but it's, it's a brilliant design, and I think this is the future of, of live PA. What's even more amazing, since it's, it's not a point source style system, in other words, it's just not one driver coming out and it, it seems random, you would think that the, that the sound quality wouldn't be there. You wouldn't have a distinct image, but it is there, surprisingly. It, it's very, very accurate. I found the mid-range to be extremely pleasing to me. That's where it needs to be. There's plenty of high end. The symbols aren't distorted, and and uh, the fact too, there's that, that like you don't hear any slew rate style distortion, which sometimes mostly comes from the amplifier, and sometimes the speakers are not that accurate. But uh, this system is very nicely uh, flat where it needs to be, and you could actually mix on them. I just saw the most amazing new speakers. I first I heard them. I walked into the room, I get into this big room and I hear this sound and I'm thinking, this is a recorded disc, this is a well-produced record, a Grammy winning record. And then I look and it's the guy sitting next to me who's playing. So it's really amazing clarity and detail on these things and the power when they crank them up is unreal. Uh, so what happened next is I get on stage with this artist Peyton Parker who I'm producing and we're playing with the full band and we're in front of the speakers, not far in front, no feedback whatsoever. Wish I could find my way. to speakers what flat screen was to full screen TV. And yet, they're so much more crisp and they don't feedback. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy.
chill, 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 chill. And now bring it up. Chill, 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 chill. And now I'm standing right in front of here. And mm -hmm. chill, chill, chill. One chill, 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 chill. Mm -hmm. So that's still there. Let's uh, call me the microphone. Chill, chill, chill. That's proved the concept. I, I really love these speakers. The, the, the idea behind them is, is brilliant.